Hey guys, how's it going? It's been so long since I uploaded and I want to give an explanation why and also give you guys a content update for my channel. So the reason why I haven't been uploading in a long time is due to health reasons and due to mental reasons. Uh, the, we'll go over the mental one first. I've been working a lot more as of late at my job. I'm doing a ton of overtime. I actually... This week alone, I have close to five hours worth of overtime. So I'm actually getting close to seven hours actually. So um, I just been extremely tired and just haven't had the energy to record as of late. But the mental, the health reason is I have been getting, gaining a lot of weight. Um, over the past, I want to say few months I have gained a lot of weight and it was not healthy and I decided to go on a diet and my focus has been primarily on my diet. It, it has been really hard for me as somebody who likes to eat a ton of fast food and drink a lot of sodas, which you'll see me drinking these more in my videos they're zebas they're actually um zero calorie soda it has literally nothing fucking in it but it tastes like soda so it helps me stay away from the fucking real thing but i've actually been losing weight i've been feeling healthier been feeling a lot better about not only myself but my energy has improved a lot. So that is just a little quick update on why I haven't been uploading a lot. Um, to get into the content on what's coming on my channel. Um, I know it's not going to be like saying like, oh my God, he's going to upload a lot. There's really only going to be three videos coming out this month. And one of them might not even come out until maybe beginning of May, like May 1st. So the first video is on a YouTuber by the name of Seventh. He did a video on reacting to the IGN preview for Dead Island 2. And it just seems like he has a big issue with the game being semi-open world. Which, in my video, I will talk about a ton of great games that were semi-open world. If you don't know what semi-open world is, it's, a, it's several locations that are stitched together with loading screens. So think of Borderlands and the original Dead Island. That... That is semi-open world. And I got more examples coming up in my video on him. But my video will be me basically explaining why Dead Island 2 not being a full-blown open world is a good thing. And I'll list examples of that as well. Um, the second video that should be coming out actually should be next week. Ne well... I will be recording it on Friday when I get home from work, but it'll be uploaded to my channel on Saturday. And that is the Dead Island 2 Hele edition of Boxing. Now, this is a probably video, meaning that it could prob probably happen, depending. Um, I'm still waiting for Amazon to take the money out of my account for the pre-order. Um, hopefully, they don't cancel it on me. But if it does come in, I will be doing an unboxing of the Hele edition, which it's... It, it's like a cheap collector's edition. It's like $100. It has like a ton of little goodies in it. It has all the content, DLC packs in it. Tons of stuff. I'll show you guys in the video. I'm really excited for it. It looks really nice. And of course, the big, big video that I am doing is my Dead Island 2 review. And it's a game that I've been looking forward to for a very, very long time as a fan of the original Dead Island. So I am very, very excited to play and review the sequel by Dan Buster, especially with it having this long and development hell life cycle, which I'll go over my review. I'm, I'm hoping to make my review 20 minutes long. I want this to be a huge review. I want people to watch that review and decide if they want to buy it or not because of my video. That's what I want to do. I want to have death. And yes, death. You're mentioned in my little update video. I want Death to watch it and be like, yo, 
I'm either going to pass on this game or buy this game. Like, that's what I want in this video to be. I want it to be huge. I want it to be in depth. I want it to be the best review that I have ever made to this point. I want it to show that I am a good reviewer. And I'm hoping that I can do that with Dead Island 2. So that review will be probably happening near the end of April to the beginning of May. Just to let you guys know, because the game does come out next Friday. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys had a great, uh, hope you guys have a great day today, and thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this. And I hope you guys are doing great. So, um, don't worry, I'm coming back, and hopefully, you guys will enjoy the new content coming. So, I will talk to you guys later.